you know, we didn't anticipate her doing as many stunts as she did. And, and there were certainly still some that her, her double did. How's it going? I'm doing fine. And you, Josh? Good. Doing well. Thank you so much for your time. A pleasure to talk to you. Uh, congratulations in your director debut. It, the thank movie you. is amazing. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Uh, you know, my, my grandmother was kind of uh, all over the place when she was alive, <laughs> but not as, as Thelma, but she was <laughs> like, I would do it myself, everything, you know yeah. what I mean? Try to solve everything. So I know that the movie is very personal to you because it's inspired by your own grandmother, but well, why right now is the right time to tell this story? Well, you know, it does feel like scams and, and you know, the taking advantage of, of the elderly has really been a big phenomenon as of late, which is unfortunate, but it feels like everyone we showed the movie to, everyone we talked to, they themselves or a family member has had an experience like that. So I hope this can, you know, be very relatable and, and be kind of cathartic in that way. And, and also maybe just raise some awareness of that kind of scam. Like the one in the movie is very similar to the one that my grandma experienced almost verbatim. So maybe if it's a little more familiar, a little more discussed, a little more out there, uh, people think twice before sort of you know, getting sucked into something like that if, if it's a little more known. So I hope that would be a, you know, a benefit of the movie existing as well. Yeah, no, it's, and, and that can happen here in the U.S. I'm from Brazil. That can happen there. It can happen anywhere. You know, what yeah. I mean? all these scams and now getting very creative and very creative. Yeah. It's going to be really hard to, to navigate it. And I think it's going to affect people, you know, beyond the elderly. I think it's going to affect kind of everybody. I mean, I've even noticed more and more things that I almost kind of click on and go like, wait, what is this? Because they're getting, you know, very advanced and, and very insidious. Yes, exactly. And to find the perfect Thelma, what was about June's previous work that got your attention? I love June. June, I've been a huge fan of hers forever. And for me, you know, I, I loved her in About Schmidt. I loved her in Nebraska. I've, I've loved her every time. I love her in Hubie Halloween. I've loved her in everything she's popped up in over the years. And she... She was really just a great mix of strength and sort of toughness where you buy her kind of taking charge, but also humor and heart and vulnerability and tenderness. And she just had a real perfect mixture of, of qualities that I think made her kind of un, undeniable for that role. Like I, I could never really picture anybody else. She was always who it had to be. <laughs> Yeah, she's perfect. And then she, she, and then there is a, like a lot of like action. And, and I know, and I, I, I read that she, she made her own stunts and everything. Like, what would, how did you balance that on set? You know what I mean? Because, you know, okay, can you do that? Can you not do that? How, how it, you guys balance that? Exactly. There was a lot, of, a lot of conversation, a lot of back and forth. Uh, you know, we didn't anticipate her doing as many stunts as she did. And and there were certainly still some that her, her double did, but there were a good deal that she did herself and way more than we thought she would. She, you know, we had a great stunt coordinator, uh, Ryan Sturz and a great, great double, um, Heidi. And so they, they were very kind of closely involved with her and we would walk through different things and sort of see what her comfort level was, see how sort of dangerous or, or straightforward these things actually felt uh, when on their feet. And, you know, if June wanted to do one and we felt like she was she was up to it, you know, she would go for it. And she is a, uh, you know, June was a dancer. She was on Broadway. She's actually a very physical performer. She was she was doing Pilates in the lead up to the movie. So she's like, she actually, you know, can do a lot more than you might think in that regard. And I think I was guilty of, of thinking that she couldn't. So it was uh it was a really interesting experience we were definitely stressed we were definitely scared a lot of the time but she uh you know as the shoot went on it became really clear kind of where the line was and, and what she was up for and 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 what we needed to do to make sure it was done as safely and as, as thoughtfully as possible yeah she she was amazing also like what i like the most about the movie because the movie is not a parody it's kind of uh you know what i mean 
it's yeah. not absurd like the stuff yeah. that happened there and uh, let's say it's very like grounded like very 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 grounded like how how was like that for you like to because to to take that tone sometimes it's difficult you know what i mean yeah no that, and, i'm glad you mentioned that because the tone was really really important to me and to my my producers zoe and chris who were you know with me on this from the very start and and muscled it into existence like i think they were great protectors of the tone uh with me as well and to me it was it was a needle to thread but it was an important one because i think if it if it skews too broad or it feels too silly uh, or it starts to feel mean spirited or like we're punching down or poking fun, it it loses its power, I think, and it loses its fun. Like I think the fun of it is really being on the journey with her in earnest and kind of watching it ratchet up step by step and be like, oh God, is she gonna go do this? Is she gonna go do that? And I think you have to hug a sense of reality as as best as you can to to earn those escalations and to make them feel meaningful. I think if you start kind of getting too silly too quickly or or things kind of, you know, jump the shark, so to speak, it can be, you just lose the tension and you lose the, 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 the spine of the movie. So tone was always really important and was always something to navigate on a script level in production and, and especially in post. And I think our, our score by, by Nick Chuba, who's a really, really talented, wonderful composer, care, it does a, a lot of heavy lifting and kind of helping us move through those different tones uh, smoothly. Yeah, it's amazing and also like i know movies making movies is a challenge all the time but what was like your biggest challenge you know i think our biggest challenge that's a good question and, and you're right exactly there's like a million little things and you know get just getting a thing made as a challenge i think um in some ways honestly i think even though we, it, it's funny, the movie in so many ways was a really like blessed experience in that there were a lot of things that could have gone wrong that didn't. There were a lot of ways in which it couldn't have gotten made at all and we wouldn't have found partners, but we did. Uh, I think I think in some ways, maybe the hardest or the most challenging thing was just sort of sticking to our guns and, and, and making and, and being single-minded and saying, we're gonna make this happen because I think it's really easy to lose confidence it's really easy to feel like oh god if we got a rejection here or a rejection there this will never happen especially because we're trying to make an action movie with a 93 year old lead like it was it was you know there wasn't a template exactly for kind of how to go about that both you know creatively and especially logistically so i think just it, in a way the, the greatest challenge which ended up working out really well for us was just keeping the our belief in the movie sticking to our guns on what it needed to be. And then seeing that through kind of on set with June and all these pieces, I, you know, logistically, there's definitely things where you, we want, scheduling was its own challenge just to make sure we were thoughtful about her time and her energy. Um, and that we had her doing like eight hour days within our 12 hour days so that we could do full days, but not exhaust her. But we got lucky, I think again, in that June kept exceeding, exceeding already very high expectations in terms of just her ability to kind of do the thing that she's always done and, and dedicated her life to. So uh, I know that's kind of a, a, a long-winded answer to your question, but- uh, Oh no, but it's perfect. I think uh, that's kind of what it is. Yeah, yeah. I And also this is one of, I I think is one of the last movies from Richard Bountry. He's yeah. amazing as well. And <laughs> and I think you both of them have a, a wonderful chemistry, like June and Richard. It was amazing, like <laughs> the, their relationship and everything. Like, how was like work with him and like on? It was really, really nice. He was he was a really lovely guy, really sweet, really warm, really charming. And he and June really got along, which was great. Like when June, when we first sat down to read through the script and they met for the first time, June said to Richard, "It's about time." And he he agreed. And it's June. June was like, "I don't know why I said that. Like, I don't know what that even meant." But Richard kind of got it. Um, cause I think when they, the second they met, they just, there was a lot of mutual respect and affection and, uh, and just a good feeling between them. So, and I think everybody had that with Richard to a point. Like, I think he was just a really warm and, and lovely presence on set and a wonderful actor. And, uh, yeah, we obviously didn't know it would be his, his final film, but I think we all felt really lucky to have gotten the chance to, to work with him and to get to know him a little bit. Yeah, I, I love the movie. I think it, it's amazing. All these in little pieces, Mission Possible article, Tom Cruise. 
yeah. <laughs> playing the pictures of you and your grandmother in the end, everything oh. that, that, that you guys like the story goes through. It's amazing. Thank I think you. it's such, such, such a great movie. And I, people, I hope people appreciate that and enjoy. <laughs> oh, thanks so much. I appreciate yeah. that. I hope so too. Yes, and, and are you already thinking about another family member to, to do a movie? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have some discussions within the family and, and see what we can do. Amazing. <laughs> Josh, I just want to thank you so much for your time. A lot of success and cannot wait for your next project. And I hope you'll be a hit. Oh, thank you so I much. Hope. I really appreciate thank that. You. Thank you. Nice talking to you. Nice talk to you too. Bye. <laughs> If you like to support or continue to support Jan on camera, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share the videos.